I want to explain this content versus context. So I don't know if any of you guys have ever watched or seen or even a fan of Gary Vaynerchuk, but there's one thing that he says that is very powerful in his keynote that we all should be thinking about and is directly correlated to this topic today. He said, hey, if content is king, then context is God. All right, so some of you guys are wondering, okay, what, where, what the heck does that even mean? Okay, so content. So content is you're going through the motions. You're sending out marketing-based emails, template-based emails, and you're just sending them out. So especially when it comes to enterprise, that's not going to be beneficial at all. You can't just be sending out baseline content at scale and hoping things work. It's just not, not going to work. So I would stay away from that as much as possible, right? Don't just send out content. Send out content. Stay away from that. Focus on context, which is what we're going to talk about here today. So context is one-to-one -one or hand-to-hand -hand combat. So this is what are the subject lines that you need to be writing to be effective? So again, here's another stat for you all. You guys can write it down or you can just refresh it for maybe some of you. Less than five words have the highest open rate in terms of sending out emails. So when you're doing that, you want to make sure that your open rate is succinct, it's on point, and that will get you those results there. So again, focus on that right there. So that's, that's the context, right? Content is, <clears throat> I'm going to send you out a long, drawn out subject line that's all over the place and not getting results. So you want to get that tuned in, less than five words, get the highest open rates. Also on top of that as well, you want to think about when you're sending out emails, which we'll talk about here in just a minute, but I'm going to, I want you guys to write this stat down. So context is, hey, if I'm targeting someone, it's based on the persona. So if it's based on the persona and it's relevant or personalized, leads to a high response. Also as a follow-up, outbound emails, the highest response there, rate right there is two to five sentences. So the goal is, Two to five sentences have a highest response rate. Also at the same time, you're focused on less than five words have a high open rate. And also on top of that, when providing context to that prospect, especially in enterprise, you want to be short and straight to the point. Because think about it. If you're targeting an enterprise level <clears throat> account and you're tar targeting executives and the accounts and leaders, they're on the move constantly. And on average, another stat to write down, 100 to 200 emails, sales emails, not even just emails, sales emails per day that an executive gets. Enterprise, I believe it's probably more. It's probably 200 to 300, to be honest with you. So in that, you have to figure out how do I make sure that I stand out? How do I get people to respond to me? And how do I get their attention? How, how do I get them to even look at what I'm seeing them, pay attention when I get them on the line, or when I send them a video. These are things we're gonna talk about today. How do you get people to pay attention? And ultimately that has to do a lot with pattern interrupts, but it has to do with your messaging and your approach and your persistence. So with that being said, most emails are read on the phone. The stack and stat on that is 79%. So in you knowing that, with that many people viewing emails on the phone and two to five cents outbound, you have to figure out how can it be short and straight and to the point to be concise. So for you all today, whether this is a refresher, whether this is new information, as you're on this webinar today, as we go into the content here and dive into the meat of this, just want to set the stage for you all. I'll get you guys thinking about a lot of things. 